Hey guys, Stacey here. So today I want to talk about the WoW token and why I'm very, very against the WoW token being added to Classic WoW at any point in time. So let's talk about um, what the WoW token is, how it works, and when and why it was added to Retail WoW in the first place. So the WoW token was added to Retail WoW in March 2015 um, during World of the Draenor, and this is how it works essentially. A player with real life money can buy a WoW token, aka game time, and then sell it to another player for in-game gold via the auction house. So why did Blizzard introduce the WoW token originally? When asked, Blizzard gave this response. Why are you introducing the WoW token feature? We've heard feedback from players that they'd be interested in a secure, legitimate way to acquire gold that doesn't involve the use of unauthorized third-party gold selling services, one of the primary sources of account compromises. We also know that players who've amassed large amounts of gold through regular play would be interested in the ability to trade some of other players in exchange for game time, helping cover their subscription costs. The WoW token feature gives players on both sides of the equation a secure and straightforward way to make that exchange. It opens up a new kind of payment option for World of Warcraft players, and we hope that it will also help lead to fewer account compromises and a better game experience overall. So there are some parts from this passage that obviously raise some red flags. This is the part of it that I have a huge problem with personally. We've heard feedback from players that they'd be interested in a secure, legitimate way to acquire gold that doesn't involve the use of third-party gold selling services. So functionally, if you have money in real life, you can just buy gold in-game via WoW tokens. Now, this isn't, this isn't gold that's just being generated in or spawned, at least an actual player is farming it at some point. So someone is actually farming the gold, but still you can buy gold in game with real life cash, which I have a huge problem with. For a very long time with games, it didn't matter who you were in real life or how rich or poor you were. And that's why a lot of people initially were drawn to games, uh, especially games, MMOs like World of Warcraft. There was this idea that in game, everyone entered the game as equals and all that mattered was sort of your gaming ability. And it was a totally new and distinct and separate social hierarchy. So when you can buy gold with real life money, it completely undermines that separate in-game hierarchy and allows people who are more successful in real life to be more successful in game as well. And this would be very, very apparent in classic WoW where the amount of gold you have, or rather the scarcity of gold, influences player behavior and player success so much. Getting gold is always a constant struggle in classic WoW and impacts your gameplay so much. Affording your mounts, your respects, your consumables, your BOE items, Gold plays an infinitely larger impact in your classic WoW character success than it does in retail WoW, and WoW tokens would really detract from the journey you have to take to advance and progress your character. It would also result in a lot fewer people running dungeons and engaging with the world, because more often than not, people's gameplay actions are motivated by acquiring gold and trying to get gold because it's just so scarce. What I'm trying to say is, if people are able to buy gold and bypass the process of farming and competing for it, there will be a lot fewer people actually playing the game and enjoying the world um, and, and interacting with fellow players. You'll see a lot more people sitting AFK and Ironforge complaining that they have nothing to do. At level 60, almost everything everyone does is with the intention of getting gold in some way, shape, or form. Like, people set up dungeon runs to farm gold, people farm monsters or mobs in the open world to farm gold, people farm rare BOE items to get gold, people push their professions to get gold, and all of these things sort of indirectly have an impact on the amount of world PvP that goes on as well, so you'd see a decrease in that with WoW tokens. Um, it also just contributes, all these people outside actually doing things, playing the game, oftentimes to get gold, contributes to the sense of being in a living, breathing world, right? But of course, with WoW tokens, someone still has to farm the gold in the first place. I think you'd just see a huge decrease in the amount of, in, in the amount of engagement uh, that people have with the game. I've also heard the argument that WoW tokens would decrease the frequency of third-party gold selling and um, money trading, which is true, but in reality, just the middleman has changed, with Blizzard becoming the new middleman, replacing the third-party gold selling sites. There is a YouTube comment I got the other day that sort of ties into all of this, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, I'm fairly surprised you mentioned WoW tokens as one of your cardinal sins of vanilla classic WoW, as it is one thing that I do think has a chance of being in vanilla WoW. It's either you buy gold from other players, or you buy them from your friendly gold seller. It's normally the lesser of two evils. Arguments can be made to just stop gold sellers, but this has never once been fully stopped, and it simply never will. I really dislike real money trading in any way that can give a player a competitive advantage. So what I'd like to see is Blizzard take a very, very firm stance against it, and do everything in their power to try to stop it. Even if Blizzard could only effectively stop 20% of real money trading going on in Classic WoW through third-party gold selling sites, um, to me, that's still better than Blizzard saying, oh, this is too hard and throwing their hands up in the air 
and rather than trying to stop it, do their best to stop it, deciding instead to foster it and try to make a quick buck off of it. I also disagree with the premise that it's either you buy gold from other players or you buy it from your friendly gold seller. For the vast majority of players playing Classic WoW, acquiring gold involves farming it by actually playing the game and competing for it rather than swiping their credit card. And I think that this is a goal that we should be working towards rather than regressing back towards our wallets just because that first goal is a bit difficult. For me, I guess it comes down to principles. And I also know that if I'm playing Classic WoW and farming gold for my Epic Mount, for example, knowing that some rich guy in real life was able to buy his Epic Mount for $300 with Blizzard sanctioned gold buying WoW tokens in Classic WoW, instead of actually having to progress and play the game and compete and farm for gold, I'd feel like that made my accomplishment. Whenever I finally did buy my Epic Mount, or whatever it is I'm trying to afford, some BOE item maybe, I feel like that would make my accomplishments feel way less valuable. When making changes to Classic WoW, we're talking about making changes to Classic WoW, or really just game design in general, it's very, very easy to think all of, to, to think of all of the really cool positive things that would happen um, with these changes or design philosophies, but it's often very, very easy to overlook some of the negative consequences or ramifications of said changes, or it might just be completely impossible to predict or foresee the negative things that would arise. For example, with the WoW token, like we're talking about, yes, you would definitely see a decrease in third-party real money trading. But uh, in this video, I've tried to highlight some of the foreseeable negative consequences. But who's to say what else would spiral out of control with just such a simple with such a simple change? So I guess simply put, what I'm advocating for and what I'm trying to push is extreme caution with re regarding any sort of changes to classic WoW and as few deviations from vanilla WoW as it was back in the day going forward into Classic WoW. One of the beautiful things about Classic WoW coming out on the horizon and sort of the, the whole no changes philosophy as a whole is that we know exactly what we're getting and that we're, we're not going to be caught blindsided by any crazy things that we, we just don't want or like or don't know how they'll play out. Blizzard has already said in a previous uh, Classic WoW dev water cooler talk that additional improvements to Classic WoW will include modern anti-cheat and botting detection. I fully expect Blizzard to do everything in their power other than WoW tokens to minimize and punish real money trading, account selling, account buying, gold trading, botting, all of that. I, I, want, I want them to at least try, take a swing, put a dent into it rather than foster it themselves. And I don't even think that this is an unreasonable expectation because this is one issue, perhaps the biggest issue where I, I really think that the integrity of Classic WoW is on the line. And it's up to us to, you know, throw a huge fit if they even float the idea of a WoW token at any point during Classic WoW. This is an issue that's sort of in its own category of change to me because other changes that they could make, you know, let's say they started rebalancing the classes or they add sharding or they, they don't include spell batching, things like that. Yes, I don't want any of that. Um, I don't want those changes to be made, but th those are core gameplay changes. WoW token is a change that would fundamentally change the nature of Classic WoW in the way that it would become pay to win to a very, very large extent. I'm going to wrap up this video by bringing it back to this quote that I have, I've already read twice. I'll read it for the third time because I think it's I think it tells so much. This is the reason why Blizzard introduced gold tokens in the first place in 2015. We've heard feedback from players that they'd be interested in a secure, legitimate way to acquire gold that doesn't involve the use of unauthorized third-party gold selling services. In Classic WoW, acquiring gold is a very big part of the game and a very formative part of the game as well. If you don't want to play the game, just don't play it. I want to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. As always, um, make sure to sub, subscribe, like, um, find me on Twitch. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is this is one video where I'm very, very eager to see, uh, more than any other video perhaps, I'm very eager to see what you guys think about this because this is such a, a hot topic and I think people are very, very divided on this. So let me know. Thanks as always guys for watching and stay safe.